February 2023 sales meeting. I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe we're already into the second month of the new year. Um, so let's dive in. We have lots of stuff to talk about today. First, I want to remind everybody to make sure you have a pen and paper out or your phone. Uh, knowledge is not power. Execution is power. So the goal of today is since you're spending uh, the next hour with us, we want you to walk away and use the information from today to change your business. So the goal of today is to write down, let's say, three items that you're going to leave today's program and you're going to go execute on. So write down on your piece of paper your list of three items, your one, two, and three, so we can fill those blanks in throughout today's program. First, we want to welcome our new agents who joined since uh, last month. We want to welcome Mike, Joanne, Tamea, Jeannie, uh, Clifton, Marissa, Kimberly, and Mark. Welcome to our new agents for uh, the month of January. Also want to go through our January numbers. In a minute, I'm going to do a year over year comparison just so you guys can see like what is the trend in the market. I think we all kind of have an idea of what the trend is in the market, um, but we'll go year over year in just a minute. But uh, for the month of January, we did 162 closings at $77.8 million in business. That was 120 transactions out of our mass-based offices, 33 units out of our Florida-based offices, and nine units out of our New Hampshire-based offices. As a reminder, that doesn't mean we did nine units in New Hampshire because many of our Massachusetts agents also do New Hampshire. This is based on where the agents are based out of, like whatever their main office is. So um, let's take a look at our top uh, agents and teams for the month. So for January, we have our top teams, and this is by volume for our mass-based offices. We have Kennard Residential Group out of Westford, Brian Pereira and Diana Pocket out of Chelmsford, Page and Company out of Tingsboro, Dan O'Connell and Associates out of Drake and then Rose Holmes out of Fairhaven. Whoops, we're going backwards. Uh, for top teams by units sold, we have Dan O'Connell and Associates for Drake It, the North Star Group out of Andover, uh, Brian Pereira and Diana Parquet out of Chelmsford, uh, Page and Company out of Tingsboro, and then Rose Homes in Fairhaven. Then we have our top Massachusetts individuals by volume. Number one, Michael Durkin. Jessica Hughes, Leanne Trohan, Tom Morissette, and Johnny Fallon. And then our top individuals by the number of units sold, Leanne Trohan, Tom Morissette, Jessica Hughes, Michael Durkin, and Claudette Forbes. It looks like we lost Stacy. Frozen in time, it looks like. Yep. Uh, why don't I do uh, kind of the sustainability update while we wait for uh, Stacy sure. to get back on? Oh, there she is. Oh, there we go. Stacy, we lost you for quite a while. Yeah, moment. I know. I, where did it end? It just kicks me off for some reason. It's the internet in Chelmsford just kicks me off randomly. Where did you, where did you? Here's the top four. Oh, uh, for New Hampshire? Correct. Okay, so let's go back. All right, top four for New Hampshire. We have, uh, we'll start from there. Let me represent. Uh, Platinum Realty Group, Fulford Group, Marie White, and Jesse Jean. And then we have our top agents for Florida. So this is top agents by volume. Tanya Bach, followed by Ashley, Anita, Lillian, Elena, Brent, Stacy, Jana, Mark, and Elizabeth. 
And then our top agents by units, Tanya, Ashley, Anita, Lillian, Brent, Elena, Stacy, Jaina, Mark, and Elizabeth. So all of our uh, top agents have been posted to our Lair Career Den. If you go into the Lair Career Den, you can download our top 25 list. So we have our top 25 overall um, for volume and units. That's company-wide. And then if you made one of the shorter lists, like a top five or a top 10 list, you can also go into that post within our career den and download social media pieces uh, to share on your Facebook. Wanted to just go over again what our year-end numbers looked like in case you didn't make it on to last month's meeting. But for 2022, we ended up closing out the year at pretty close, slightly higher than where we were the year before, 1.585 billion, 3,422 sales plus 377 rentals. So slightly higher than where we were a year before that, uh, which we're really excited about just based on the, the idea that the market is definitely has Stacey, been. Stacey, can you share yeah. your screen again, please? Oh, it's not sharing? Yeah. Let's see, all kinds of technical issues today. Okay. Can you see it now? Yep, I can see it now. Hold on, let me reopen it. So as I'm reopening our the screen, we are slightly higher, 1.58 billion for transactions for last year, about 3,400 sales for 2022, which is just a smidgen higher than where we were for the previous year, which we're very excited about, just based on the fact that the market definitely shift for, shifted for the second half of the year. So next we are uh, just want to do a year over year comparison. So you guys have an idea of where the market is headed this year. Uh, we've been seeing for the last six months that every agent is going to have to work uh, harder to do the same amount of business as they did in the previous year. So um, we're already experiencing that as an organization. So let's just look at our numbers for 2023. We closed uh, 162 transactions at $77 million for January. The previous January, we had 236 closings at 95 million. So number one, the numbers are definitely down year over year. And as a reminder, our agent count is definitely up year over year. So uh, we're already experiencing it. This is very typical for a January market that we see um, lower than usual numbers until the start of spring. Uh, but this is even lower than usual. What's important to note when you see numbers like this or you're experiencing in your own business that the market is slower than usual is to really manage your own energy around that because your success this year, 2023, has everything to do with what is going on in your own head, what's happening in your mindset. Your success in 2023 has nothing to do with the real estate market. It has nothing to do with what interest rates are doing. It has nothing to do with elections or politics or inflation. Your success in 2023 has everything to do with how you manage your energy. The universe right now is picking the winners and losers of the real estate market for 2023. And the universe picks it based on what you are attracting. So as we are heading into 2023, it's important to manage your energy around information like this. Don't be ruled by fear saying, okay, the market's significantly off or different than last year. Instead, you have to look at the facts that this year is going to bring all kinds of new opportunity that we have not have 
in previous years. So let's talk about opportunity before we dig into some of the stuff that's happening uh, in the offices. What are the top 10 ways to drum up some new business now? So if you're experiencing that, hey, things are a little bit slower and spring market is less than 60 days away and you don't feel like you have the business that's going to be coming in for spring market, what can you do right now to still guarantee that you're going to have a great 2023? So let's go through the top 10 ways to drum up some new business now. Uh, number one, expired listings. So even when the market was hot, there were lots of expired listings. So uh, one of the best places, of course, to get or find your expired listings is the multiple listing service. When you're thinking about your expired listings, think about what you can do to stand out. What many people don't know is that I did sell real estate going back 20 years ago. I was working at Dennis's, Dennis Page's company, uh, Remax, and where I got my business as a brand new agent was expired listings. And what I noticed in the marketplace, so just like it is today, I'd go into MLS every morning. I'd be up at 5 a.m. pulling the expired listings, getting my list, and I would go door knock before 8 a.m. because I knew that people were getting ready for work and I wanted to drop off my package to them before they left for the house so that when they are heading to work, they already have in mind that I might need to speak with another real estate agent. So I'd go door knock and that's how I won expired listings. Uh, just think about what is going to be your strategy. We've said in uh, different training programs that you should have a buyer package, a seller package, and an investor package. This is where you use those package packages. Go door knock an expired listing first thing in the morning as soon as it's expired because every other agent. So first of all, the fact that you're chasing or going after an expired listing puts you in the top 5% of real estate agents, maybe the top 1% because a lot of people are nervous to go and call on an expired listing. So you're in the top 1% of people going after an expired listing. Um, but then the people that do go after the expired listings, how are they reaching out to make contact with that expired listing? Most are just sending a letter. So if you go door knock the house the day that the property expires, you are typically going to get in front of that seller much faster than somebody who's sending a snail mail letter that is going to get to the person four days later. So get out, start digging into those expired listings. Uh, number two, for sale by owners. Same thing. You should have your packages already. Your nice seller package that you, you drive by a property, you see a for sale by owner. Don't be shy about going knocking on the door and just saying, I put together some information for you. I see that you're looking to sell your property. Start a conversation, start a dialogue and drop off your package. It's a great way to um, begin to develop rapport. Number three, small bank REO. Can't stress this enough. Now, every agent on the planet wants to go after REO business because many people feel that the market is going to shift so significantly that we're going to see REO business come about. Now, in my opinion, for the big banks like the Wells Fargo's, the Bank of America's, those are much more difficult to become the REO agent because those banks have long-standing relationships with their REO agents who, by the way, they've been working with for 10 years. So not saying that it's impossible to get that business, but it's certainly not going to be easy to get that business. That being said, there are many small, tiny regional banks and credit unions who they don't get 
hundreds of listings every year, but they get a few listings every year. They have a few people that are foreclosure or heading into foreclosure. And those are a great opportunity for you to go in and develop relationships with their asset managers within the banks. I could tell you last year, I bought a property directly from a small local regional bank. It was a foreclosure property and somebody I developed a relationship with. And again, this year, they reached out to me and said, I have another property that we're thinking about selling. Would you be interested in buying it? So think about those small local regional banks and credit unions in your marketplace because most agents are going after the big stuff. They think that they can go develop a relationship with Wells Fargo and get hundreds of transactions. But less agents are thinking about these little regional banks where maybe they only get one or two uh, bank-owned listings a year, but you could be the referral source for that. So maybe that's one of the things you execute on today is make a list of 10 banks, little teeny banks or credit unions in your marketplace and swing by with some information, go visit uh, the bank and ask, who do you talk to to find out if they have uh, any bank owned properties that they're looking uh, to sell? Number four, probate. Where do you get probate um, listings? So we have some, we have a class on uh, Lair University where I had done an interview about two years ago with uh, agent out of, I think it was out of like Virginia area who was doing about 200 plus um, probate properties per year. And I met him because he wrote a book on it. So there's books out there on how to get um, like probate listings. And what he taught in that program, you can go to Lair University and watch it. But what he taught is that you can go to a uh, site like Fiverr. So Fiverr is one of those sites where you can hire virtual assistants to do anything. But you can go to Fiverr. You can hire uh, people that know how to find probate leads. So if you go to Fiverr and type in probate leads for your state, you're going to find people that will say, I'll get you 100 probate leads per month for... $20 a month. So go set up your relationships on Fiverr. They're going to send you a spreadsheet of those probate leads. Now you have to call them. So then you have to set up a plan to call or mail to um, these potential probate leads. By the way, through Fiverr, you can also hire the people that call them or reach out to them on your behalf. Uh, also, great opportunity to uh, team up with a state planning attorneys in your marketplace for these types of leads. Next up is 1031 exchanges. We hosted a phenomenal class just in December, I think, uh, with a company that it's a company out of Boston, but they do 1031 exchanges all around the country. What's cool about a 1031 exchange is these are like kind property exchanges. And the reason I love 1031 exchanges as a way to drum up business is because you can create a customer out of somebody who doesn't even realize that they're a potential customer of yours. Basically, um, the agents that do really well with 1031 exchanges identify properties. So for example, uh, a 1031 exchange, uh, let's say somebody has a three family unit that they currently own, they could go exchange that for something in a different marketplace. So maybe they take their three family in Boston, which will buy them an 18 unit property in Springfield, for example. So you uh, educate the seller and say, hey, I noticed that you own this three unit property. Did you know you could exchange that, sell this and buy this? and uh, just have a much higher return on your cash flow on a monthly basis. Not only that, there's some really cool stuff that I've seen agents doing where they'll help a client do a like-kind exchange for an uh, uh, investment property in Massachusetts. They exchange that for an investment property in Florida, which that investment 
property in Florida can eventually become the client's primary residence. So because it's a time of year where things are not as busy as the rest of the year, it's worth going and learning the nuances of programs like this, because here you can create your own business. You don't have to go after the same business as everybody else. You can go out and educate clients so that they become clients. Uh, number six, lead services. Uh, in our Lair Program and Services Guide, which you can check out at lairrealty.com backslash success tools, Within that guide, I think it's page 14, uh, there's a list of all the different companies out there that provide leads for agents. Sign up for all of them. So we already said everybody's going to have to work harder to do the same amount of business as last year. Yeah. Do they charge huge referral fees for a lead? Absolutely. It's an astronomical uh, fee that you pay for the referral if it closes. But the upside to it is that person now becomes the referral source. So you sell them one property and then you teach them how to become the referrer so that future transactions, their friends, their family, you're not paying those huge referral fees. Um, pay for leads. We're seeing lots of agents uh, go out and actually buy leads again. There are still lots of companies that you can buy leads from. So there's companies like Zillow that you can pay monthly for the leads. Um, another company that I've seen agents paying for leads is Offers, O-F-F-R-S, like a pay monthly subscription um, for leads. And go try out some of the different lead platforms out there. Another free one that we do a lot of business with is OpCity. If you're a Lair agent and you want leads from OpCity, just email happyagent at lairrealty.com. OpCity is a referral fee-based lead platform. So you sign up, they start sending you leads. The better you are at closing the leads, the more leads you will get. Um, again, it's it's just another potential client. Um, Google local services. So I was talking to one of our top agents last week and he said, I think it's crazy if agents are not signed up for the local service ads on Google because basically it's Google's version. They verify that you're a real estate agent. So there's like a verification process that you have to go through for the local service ads. Um, and then you pay per lead. So each time you uh, get a transaction and there, I want to say it's like 16 or $20 per phone call that you get. By the way, for the Go Google local services ads to work for you, you have to be an agent that answers your phone because that's how the leads are coming in. It's a call into your phone. If you're not answering, then the Google local services ads not going to be your cup of tea. Um, and then last, it's not a bad idea to just go on to Google and Google real estate leads. There's lots of companies that we don't even know about providing leads. And maybe they give you one lead a year, maybe they give you three, but no matter what, why not sign up for every single one? If you have a little bit of downtime this month, why not just take an hour or two hours signing up for some different programs so that your uh, throughout the year, feeding your business. Next, number seven, orphans clients. There's going to be millions. My prediction is millions of orphans clients over the next 12 months. This means there is going to be an exodus of real estate agents. We all know there's too many real estate agents. Um, and the agents that are very part-time, we're going to start seeing them exit the business because because it's expensive to be a real estate agent paying for board dues and MLS. So create a program where you're networking with agents who might be looking to leave the business because we can pay referral fees to uh, other real estate agents. Number eight, partnerships. There's so many opportunities to create partnerships with companies that could send you business. Now, the easy ones to think about are like, well, mortgage companies, but the mortgage companies are dealing with lots of real estate agents. 
So you might get a lead from them occasionally, but it's not going to be all the time. I don't think there's a lot of real estate agents who have regular referral, like two-way referral partnerships with moving companies, clean out companies. How about in Massachusetts, at least title five companies? Um, how about assisted living companies? So go out to the local assisted living centers in your market. And we know every market has assisted living because when families are traditional, uh, transitioning from a house or a condo to an assisted living, typically there is a property that needs to be sold. Uh, divorce and estate attorneys, uh, solar companies. How about commercial real estate firms? There are so many firms within uh, our marketplaces that solely do commercial real estate. So why not go out and create a partnership and say, hey, I'll refer you my commercial business if you refer me your residential business. And then number eight is creating partnerships with local charities. Now, it is totally legal for you to pay a, um, a fee or a donation to a charitable organization uh, with each closing. So why not go create a partnership with a local charity? where you are helping each other. They help you get business. And likewise, you give a small donation on each closing to their charity. Next up, events. So the world is fairly back to normal after the pandemic. So why not start getting together people? VA seminars, first time buyer seminars, seller seminars, credit cleanup seminars, senior downsizing seminars. The other thing I want you to consider is your seminars don't necessarily have to be in person. You can 100% do online seminars like all the time, like every week having a one hour seminar that you advertise it on place like places like Eventbrite so consumers can see it, um, or Craigslist, or on, put it everywhere, Facebook, Instagram. Why not constantly be offering these seminars? The cool thing is once you get the hang of it, you can actually just share the recording of your seminars um, with people so that you're constantly generating business from your seminars. And then number 10, open houses. So at Lair, we do have hundreds of listings at any one time, and there's always opportunities for open houses. Now, if you're an agent that has no inventory and you want to convince an agent that has inventory to have you come do their open house, you got to market yourself. So go out to those uh, agents that have a listing inventory and say, hey, I know you have... Um, three listings and you probably want to do your Saturday and Sunday open houses, but I'm happy to do commuter open houses. So I'll do your commuter open houses. You can keep your Saturday and Sunday open houses. So that's one way to approach it. Number two, put together a video about what you do for an open house so that you can excite your fellow agents by saying, hey, I'm not going to just go show up. This is how I throw an open house so that your fellow agents are really excited to have you come in and host an open house. Uh, and then if you're doing open houses, of course, there's so much opportunity to drum up business around that open house, such as door knocking around the open house, inviting neighbors, things like that. The great thing about open houses is every open house is your audition for your next client. I've been talking to agents as I go out and visit offices and the what agents are saying is that it seems like right now uh, fewer and fewer people coming through the open houses are already represented. So there's absolutely opportunity to get business by going out and doing open houses. Now, just one last warning, like just sending out one blast email to an office saying I'm available for your open house your chances are not good of getting an open house from one of your peers. To get the good open houses, you're going to have to pick up the phone. Go target the open house you want to do. Look in the office. See what inventory is out there. 
pick up the phone, call your fellow agent and say, hey, I noticed you have this property. What could I do to do an open house there? Even if it's a commuter open house, I'd be willing to do commuter open houses um, and then give them a list of all the things that you would do to make that open house spectacular. So those are the 10 opportunities that I see right now in the marketplace because it's really, really, really important that every single one of you manage your energy around the market when it's a little bit slower. Because what the, the number one expense on your profit and loss at the end of the year, the number one expense is going to be fear. And if you feel fear, it's going to cost you dearly. So you can't feel fear. You have to look at the changing market and recognize the opportunities for you to go out and make 2023 your best year ever. All right, let's dig into some company updates. So number one, we have Craig on today. Congratulations, Craig. He's now a Riz Media real estate newsmaker. He is a trailblazer, an agent of change. Congratulations, Craig. Thank you, Stacey. That's awesome. And since we already have you on here, do you have any updates for us on the sustainability front? Well, you know, I do. Um, I'm going to, can I boot you off and yes. go to my, uh, yes. my screen? So I'm going to just go to, we, you know. This uh, intersection of real estate and sustainability, as we all know, is just shooting through the roof. I uh, want to let you know that there's a lot of stuff that we have going on right now at Lear and outside of Lear. But as you mentioned, Stacey, this is a great time for, uh, you know, if your business is slower right now, education is, is a great ideal time to, to learn and become more educated in the business. Um, I'm going to be teaching for uh, GBAR. Greater Boston Association of Realtors on uh, March 13th from 9 to 11 a.m. on Zoom, the new course, Fundamentals of Sustainable Homes, that we just rolled through the um, uh, licensing board uh, uh, last year. So I just put that in the chat, the link to that. So it's free if you're a GBAR member. If you're not, it's $20. All you got to do is go to the registration link. I'm obviously already registered while on my account right now, but that would say registration there. Just click on that. And again, if you're a GBAR member, totally free. It's a Zoom event. You can take it from the safety of your own home and uh, get some really valuable information on the basics of sustainability in, 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 in the real estate marketplace, particularly as it, to, it pertains to what's going on right now with new building codes, uh, solar PV, we hit on all of that stuff in this course. I would also like to highlight that uh, for the second year now, the second annual report, uh, I've switched to uh, the National Association of Realtors link, hopefully you're seeing it on our new report. Uh, which is the E, S, G, and R report. I'm throwing that into the chat right now. Uh, so for the second year in a row, second annual report, uh, National Association of Realtors has created a sustainability report. And Stacey, you'll be happy to know that uh, a lot of this report was modeled on the work that we did with our Lear Sustainability Report, which has been going around since uh, beginning of 2020. So we predated that and, and NAR certainly used our report as kind of a blueprint for some of the work that they're doing. But if you go here, you can uh, take a look at the, the, the big picture here on this link, but you can also do download the full report. And in that full report, one of the interesting metrics, Stacey, is 50% of realtors across the United States last year sold a home with green features. We're seeing this market rapidly evolve. Uh, my guess is that the of the 50% that didn't think that they sold a home with green features probably didn't understand that there were green features in the home and just couldn't identify them because they're all over the place. So uh, a great um, uh, report that NAR is now publishing annually and, and partly based on the work that we've done with our Lear Sustainability Report. Also on March 1st, Ashley Gendro, Gendro, I know you're on. Thanks for all your help. It's also great 
uh, Stacey, I was just go going through the list and we have so many green designated agents of the realtors that are on board today, which I love to see. As you know, green designated agents, I think are, are very smart, very wise in the business. The, this event though, that we're doing at my house, as you know, we, many of you know, uh, uh, my wife and I have gone through a massive uh, deep energy retrofit on our home. We've decarbonized our home. We've We've electrified everything. So we've moved to mini splits. We've moved to an induction cooktop. We've moved to a heat pump, a water heater. I cut off my natural gas account. Uh, and there, there's a picture of the house in 1896, we believe, with the trolley running down Main Street, which is no longer there. But we did a massive renovation on the house. And uh, we're doing a, a wine and cheese event, my house on March 1st. Uh, and uh, I'll throw in the link for that. It's limited to 15 people because it's not a huge house and you know there's parking involved and I, I don't know Ashley said yesterday there's eight that have already registered so jump on board with that uh, also the inflation reduction act uh this is this is pretty huge great way to reach out to your past present and future customers you can see on this link that i'm about to put in from rewire in america you can add five inputs here to take a look at the incentives that are being offered these are tax incentives available now for adding high performance home features to your existing home what a great way to reach out to your past buyers that you hope that hopefully will be your future sellers uh, and let them know about all of the cost savings and tax benefits that are available. They're huge. Believe me, we're taking advantage of all these. If you had a good year last year, I mean, you're going to get hit by the IRS big time. These are great for real estate agents, too, because it lowers your tax burden, obviously. There's also going to be a whole bunch of rebates, instant rebates that come out late this year. But this little calculator from Rewiring America is a great way to reach out to your past, present, future customers and just let them know about some of the incentives that are out there. Then of course, there is a course that was created by the National Association of Realtors uh, last year on uh, kind of easy course that you can do at home. I know Stacy, you did this course. Uh, you can do it in a night, you can stream modules, you can take it over three nights, learning, you, it's free to use. Uh, and uh, it, it's a great little setup for just beginning to understand this part of the marketplace. So that's the sustainability roundup for us right now, Stacey, thanks. All right, awesome. Let me go back to my screen. All right, next up, I wanted to give you guys a tour of our new and improved Lair Agent Services site. So as you know, last year, we put together a new Lair Agent Services um, website. And this was at the request of our agents who, through our committee, let us know that they wanted an easier way to access all the great stuff we have instead of always having to go on, whoops, not paying attention as I'm typing, um, an easier way, lairagentservices.com. Uh, an easier way to um, get access to some of the resources that are used the most. Uh, normally, our agents had always gone on to the Lair Career Den in order to get that information, but that requires that you log in and you have a pass, uh, password that you download stuff. So we started reorganizing everything about a year ago. Well, now we have a whole new reorganization of the site. So our team went through and we really looked at what are the agents using the most? How could we further improve the site? And this is like phase one of the upgrade. We're gonna be adding some new additional stuff to make this even better. Um, so when you go to LairAgentServices.com, first of all, right at the top, you'll see a link to Lair News. That is a link to our most recent Lair newsletter, our internal company newsletter, so you could see what's happening at Lair. By the way, uh, I send this out in an email each month so you guys can read it or download the PDF of it, and we ask our staff to print these and leave them at the front desk. So you can grab, it's just a four page newsletter letting you know what's happening in the company. 
Um, but I want to just point out that if you go to that link and scroll down to the bottom, you can also submit news. So if you or a coworker uh, is getting married or having a baby or got a new um, real estate designation, if there's something cool you want to share with us, we want to know. So there's a place right at the bottom where you can submit news to us. So that's um, right at the link for layer news. We also have, as you guys know, I write every month, every Monday, my mindful Monday, you can get the most recent, you can get all the mindful Mondays. We now have about over a hundred of them um, right here. Then we wanted to showcase for you the agents that are joining all the time. So we have this new section of our newest agents. Uh, you can go down and click. This shows you like the most recent people who have joined, but also you can just click on view more and you'll get to see the agents that have been joining the firm. Uh, and then we reorganized into pages all the buttons that we had. So our team went through and we really kind of deleted stuff that agents weren't using very often so we could keep it as clean and as organized as possible because the idea of this site is not to give you a fire hose of like everything we have. We still have the career den with a lot of stuff, uh, but give you the stuff that agents are using all the time. So uh, right at the top here, we have a link to our offices. That's if you're trying to locate an office, you can see all of the offices. We have a link to getting paid. That also has links to like our mobile deposit platforms, as well as a link to our check request and a link to um, the companies that collect escrow money like Ernest. Uh, we also have our business planning tools. We clean this up significantly. Uh, you'll see the Algorwin system, which I'm going to talk about in a second, uh, which is our new business planning system. Our old business planning system, which is like a 45 page guide, if you want to go like old school. Um, and then we have another one that we introduced late last year. So we have like three really good three very different from each other business planning tools here. I think all of them are great. Some are more detailed than others, but um, these are the three most important business planning tools for your business. Um, and this IPA checklist is income producing activities checklist. So if you're slow and you're looking for something to fill some time, go there and it's going to just give you a list of stuff to that you could work on to um, create income. Next, we have our open house assistant. So if you're an agent and you're either hosting a broker open house, or if you need an agent to cover an open house for you, there's a form there for both of those. You can fill that out. That notifies all the agents within whatever offices you select uh, about your open house, either broker open house or the fact that you need coverage for an open house. If you just joined Lair, uh, we have a whole bunch of marketing pieces under this section. We have a whole section on Lair Google templates. Uh, if you need a special request marketing piece, typically the special request marketing pieces are like multi-page brochures. So let's say you need like a four-page brochure instead of a two-page brochure for your listing. You can request it here. It can be anything really. Um, or the other thing agents ask for quite often is just a market snapshot of what's happening in the marketplace so that they can share it on Facebook. You can click here and um, make your marketing request and one of our team members will um, take care of that for you. We then put all of our guides, our presentations and brochures in one place. So as you're putting together like your buyer packages and seller packages, Right at the top, we have our buyer guide, our seller guide, our investor guide. So those are three booklets that you guys should be using. Um, we have just a layer brochure. We have a, a one pager, like the process of buying a home. Uh, it's like a monopoly board. Of course, our layer sustainability report, listing presentation, uh, trusted vendor pieces, a local guide. Um, so you can like feature local businesses. 
the AdWorks flyer. So this is like all the marketing pieces you would typically use when you're working with buyers, sellers, like the materials, the branding stuff that you would print in hand to somebody. So that's all under um, brochures, presentations, and guides. Uh, the social media takes you over. Everybody here should be receiving every Monday social media pieces for you to uh, post. But you can also go to our social media link and see all kinds of social media stuff. So you could see all the upcoming social media posts for the coming weeks. Um, let's say that you just want to change like your Facebook banner, for example. There's buttons here where you can find different categories of posts. So it's like just a simple site where you can see all the upcoming posts and uh, narrow it down to whatever specifically you're looking for uh, for posting. And then all of our classes, meeting and coaching, all of our tech tools. This is an important one because agents always are like, I haven't been on my Isaac for three months. How do I log in? These are all the login areas for all the technology you guys are using. So um, if you go to any of these, that's where you can log in. Uh, we also created some pages. We're going to be kind of revamping a little bit of the training on the three tech bundle tools. So there's three tools you get as part of the tech bundle, Isaac, Boston Logic, and Real Scout. Uh, first of all, there's a link here. If you don't have the tools and you want to sign up for it, you can. But also under each of these pages, we put little tutorial videos in there for you. So let's just say on Isaac, you're trying to do something in particular. You click on that and these are just like all little tutorial videos, like how to um, use the mobile app, how to do the email newsletter. So uh, like I said, we're gonna be revamping a little bit of the training to better guide you uh, when you sign up for the tech book, the $39 tech bundle. Because sometimes we think agents are spending too much time on stuff that doesn't matter. For example, your Boston Logic website comes ready to go. You really don't have to spend any time, in my opinion, learning your Boston Logic website. You're much better off spending your time learning Isaac and Real Scout. So we're just revamping that a little bit. Um, back to the main page. Uh, we have a page here for like layer signs, apparel and business cards, and then mailing and marketing companies that we recommend. So all just a lot more organized and we're still tinkering with it a little bit every day. So I think you'll see some more changes um, because this has become like the hub that our agents use all the time. Uh, so we're going to keep tinkering with it, make it even better if you have suggestions for us feel free to send them in to happyagent at layerrealty.com. So that is our new, whoops, let's go back to our presentation. Next up, we've been distributing these to the offices. I don't know if everybody's seen them yet, but this is our new magazine, the Lair at Home magazine. So we've been shipping like cases to each office, but this is a printed magazine and it's like, it's really a beautiful quality. It's about 21 pages. Um, I have had agents ask, can I have it customized to me? And the answer is yes, it is possible to have this customized um, where we put your picture and contact info on the cover of it and have them professionally printed. However, it's usually an investment of about $1,500 minimum. So it's around $1.50 each and you got to order a thousand of them for the professional printing. So if that's something, if you really like the quality of the magazine, if you pick one up at the office, it is possible to get that customized. But really think in your head, it's about a $1,500 investment if you do want to do that. The other piece that we're having professionally printed, we do not have a sample of this yet. Um, let me stop sharing for just one second so I could pull this up, is we made a new luxury selling guide. I want to show you, we're really proud of this uh, piece. Let's see. Uh, hold on, I'm going to reshare. 
So this is being professionally printed and we're looking to do something more of like a hard cover on it. We spent a great deal of time making this really nice because what's really interesting about luxury selling guides is we went to all the companies that are traditional high-end luxury real estate brokers to see what kind of materials they give to um, their, their people. And we found that in many instances, what they're giving to their clients is basically the same as every other real estate company. It's the same seller's guide that we have for all of our regular properties. And truly, when you're working with luxury, it is a different experience. The way you market is a little bit different. Um, so our team designed this new luxury selling guide. It talks about the luxury home selling experience. It talks about the process. And the process is not the same as a regular uh, listing. Uh, pricing considerations, what kind of amenities we would be highlighting. Um, let's see, In, by invitation only, open houses. It's not regular open houses. Video production. And then we talk about the different types of high-end or luxury homes. The, the most notable are historic homes, uh, waterfront escapes. High performing homes is one of the fastest growing categories of luxury uh, real estate, uh, equestrian estates. And, uh, and then uh, just reading like the NAR profile reports on what buyers and sellers are looking for, the number one thing that many uh, high end clients value more than the marketing is their privacy. So we wanted to make sure we highlighted privacy as one of the things that we take privacy, confidentiality, uh, that we take very seriously. And then it just talks about the fact that Lair has sold over 25,000 homes uh, and that typically about 5% of our sales each year are over $1 million. And then we also highlight within this guide some of our biggest sales over the last, I'd say, 24 months or so, uh, including last year, we had a $12 million sale. Uh, just recently, we had a $5 million sale in New Hampshire, um, a high performance home for $5.1 million, and then uh, Martha's Vineyard Estate. So it's kind of cool because we get to highlight each of the different types of um, properties and then we have just a one pager of some of the other big houses we've represented. So that is going to be our new luxury um, piece. And again, that one is also going to be uh, that one is also going to be a professionally printed version. All right, let's see if I can get out of Canva. It's freezing now. And what's the timeline for the production of the luxury piece? That'll be, we'll have them in March. Definitely sometime in March. Let's see. Okay, just a couple things before we wrap up today. Uh, first, I wanted to remind everybody, we have a class coming up on Friday, which is goes through our Algorwin growth system. This has been like months and months in the making, and it's more than just a business planning guide. It is a business growth program. Uh, so we're doing a class on this on Friday. You can find it on our training calendar. And uh, you can download the materials like the booklet that goes with it at layerrealty.com backslash Algorwin. So the class is this Friday at 11 and then um, the class, uh, the, the booklet you can download at layerrealty.com backslash Algorwin. Uh, we also have an exciting announcement for New England. So many of our agents had the opportunity in Florida to see Tom Ferry through our partnership with New World Title in November. So a handful of our agents took us up on that opportunity in November. Well, now Lair is bringing Tom Ferry to New England on April 5th. We are doing a full day program. We don't have the location yet, but we're thinking probably around the Natick area. 
uh, April 5th, it's going to be a full day program. The whole morning is going to be Tom Ferry uh, showing you guys what you need to do to build your business for 2023. The We then will break for lunch. We have an afternoon of speakers, um, trainers, and we're also doing our layer award presentation. So this is going to be like a full day program, tons of awesome, awesome uh, content for the day. Uh, don't forget to check out our monthly newsletter. I showed you guys where you can uh, send us information if you have any updates as well. I uh, want to make sure everybody is getting our social media stuff. I mean, this stuff is awesome content. There is no reason for an agent at Lair to not be posting all the time to social media with beautiful content that has to do with real estate. We've done all the hard work. All you have to do is share it. If you're not getting these texts on Friday, I'm sorry, Monday mornings, just shoot us an email at Happy Agent and we can figure out, we'll troubleshoot it with you. Uh, but awesome content. I saw we have our team, Cheryl and Nicole on. Do you guys have any updates you want to share? I don't think so. Uh, but our team is always available. Our coast to coast closing team uh, with offices in Tingsboro and now West Yarmouth. Uh, and every single month after our uh, meeting, so at one o'clock today is our monthly how to build a $10 million business program. And each month we uh, interview a high performing real estate agent. Today we have an awesome agent from Tampa, Florida. She's a young mom. She's only been in the business five years. She does well over $10 million in business. And I think you guys oh, are going to love her. So make sure to attend our How to Build a uh, $10 million business webinar. And thanks to Sergio, you can now listen to all these on our um, podcast. So you can listen to them while you're driving. You can find the podcast on... Uh, on Lair Agent Services. It's under the button on training and coaching. Just click in there and you'll find a link to the podcast so you can listen to that. Uh, Just popped it in to say hi, Stacy. Sorry, I couldn't unmute myself. Oh, um, do you have any updates for us? I don't have any updates. I loved what you were saying. It, you know, the market is what you make of it. Um, I've had a few agents reach out to me to do some um, individual meetings uh, with their groups. Um, which I thought went really well. So I did those um, via Zoom or I could do, um, you know, come to the office or, but like you, like you said, we're always available, text, email, anything. All right, awesome. Thank you, Nicole. Perfect, thanks guys. Uh, upcoming training, tons of training. So basically every week there's new training classes, jump onto our training. I hope to see everybody at our Friday Algorwin class. Uh, if you miss a class that you wish you took, you can usually download it right after the program at youtube.com backslash layer training. Uh, so go check out any of the classes you might have missed, you can find there. And I think that's about it for the month. And next month in March, second Wednesday of March, we're going to be like days away from uh, the start of the spring market. So I hope everybody is excited for the start of spring. And thanks everybody for joining us today for our meeting.